one. Let's be a scientist. <laughs> Cody! It's the butterfly effect! Did the earthquake happen because of chaos? Yes. Chaos has gotten rid of the forces existing on Earth, causing abnormal phenomena to occur worldwide. Scientists have tried to solve these problems, but chaos put them under a magic spell to forget their own identity! Oh no! What should we do, Robbie? Who can stop these abnormal events? What do you mean, who? It's you, Coney! You've got to become a scientist and solve this problem! Do you really think I'm capable of that? There's no time to hesitate, Coney! Really? Yep! Huh? <gasps> Robbie, where are we? This is a science lab. Let's go to the lab of a scientist who was studying the forces that have been disappeared. Got it. Let's see. Earth science? Biology? Physics? Chemistry? Why are there so many labs? That's because there are a lot of different fields in science. What kind of scientists would study the forces of Earth that have disappeared? Physics. Physicists study the motion of matter, energy, and force. Uh, Robbie! Where are those on the screen? People are requesting help. They're slipping and falling because there are no more friction force. Scales aren't working properly due to the absence of the elastic force. You have to restore these forces on Earth. I understand. We need the force of gravity that pulls objects to the surface of the Earth! Yay! Finally! Thank you so much! I'm lost! And maybe my compass is broken, but I can't find my way out of this forest! Please help! The magnetic force! Earth is like a massive magnet. The North Pole has the S pole of a magnet, and that's why the N pole of a compass always points toward the North. So the North is this way! I can finally find my way out of here! Thank you! Help! Help! The boat! The boat is sinking! We need buoyancy, the force to float on water! Oh, boats are very heavy, but they can float on water because of buoyancy. This could have been a disaster. Thanks for your help. Good job, Coney. Earth is recovering its forces, and things are becoming stable. Oh, gravity, friction, magnetism, elasticity, buoyancy. I never knew so many types of forces existed. Right? Physicists have been using these forces to make convenient tools for everyday life. Robbie, what's going on? Due to a computer failure, everyone's blood type records are all gone. Really? Without knowing their exact blood type, we can't help patients needing blood transfusion. Then what do we do? We've got to analyze people's blood types ourselves. Tony, hurry! Okay! This is a lab for biologists. Biologists? Biologists assess blood types? I imagine that only doctors would do that. Biologists study the structures, functions, growth, and development, and classifications of organisms and more. They develop vaccines against viruses and can even produce seedless watermelons to adjust the number of chromosomes. Coney, let's analyze the blood types and give the results to the hospital. All right, Robbie. Only the yellow serum has clumps, so it's B. When the blue and yellow serum clumps up, it's AB. Neither type of serum clumped up, so it's O. Only 
the blue serum has clumped so with A! <sighs> I've sent the blood type data to the hospital. You seem like a real biologist, Coney. Thanks. Robbie, what's going on now? The butterfly effect is starting again. <laughs> Why isn't the clothes getting any cleaner? Do you know what's happening? Acids and bases are all mixed up. Acids? Bases? What are those? Things that taste sour, like lemon and vinegar, are acidic. Things that are slippery and bitter, like soap, are basic. Oh, I see. Coney, find a lab of scientists who study acids and bases. We need to go to a chemistry lab where chemists study the structures and properties of matter. Coney, first, we need to identify their properties. How? I can't taste everything. Don't worry. Ta-da! Here's litmus paper, which is used to determine whether something is acidic or basic. It turns blue in a base turns red in an acid. Wow, that's amazing! All right, Robbie. I'll determine what's acidic and what's basic using the litmus paper. Since the litmus paper turned red, it's acidic. Since the litmus paper became bluer, it's basic. Acidic. It's acidic. It's basic. <sighs> now carbonated drinks will regain that fizz, and soaps can be used to wash the laundry. Ah, what's going on? Oh no! Earthquakes are operating across the world. Earthquakes? Let's head on over to the Earth Science Lab. Go go! Robbie, can Earth scientists stop earthquakes? No, but what they can do is predict its occurrence and inform people in advance to reduce damage. Mm -hmm. That map is showing where earthquakes are occurring. Take a good look at indicating the earthquake paths. Okay. Yes, it's going this way. I found the path! Oh, Robbie, did people evacuate safely? Yes, all thanks to you. Nah. <laughs> oh my! What is that, Robbie? It's outer space! Stars are coming toward Earth! We've got to stop them! What? How are we going to stop all these stars? You're an Earth scientist! You've got to observe the stars and determine their properties. You need to change their directions starting with the hottest star. You mean stars have different temperatures? Yes, of course! They all appear to be white or yellow, but they're actually blue if they're super hot and red if their temperature isn't relatively high. Coney, you've got to hurry! Okay. We've changed our direction with a special weapon. They won't collide with Earth. Good job, Cody. And guess what? The butterfly effect is wearing off. And all of the scientists are back to where they belong. R Robbie, I didn't realize that scientists did such amazing things. I can't believe they study matter, organisms, Earth, and space. I wonder what our lives would have been like without scientists. 
studying and developing these things. Then, Earth would have been invaded by smart aliens like me! <laughs> what? <laughs> Just kidding. You Earthlings are quite smart. Your curiosity and eagerness for knowledge is well known throughout the universe. R right. <laughs> well, I'm curious about the future that will be created by scientists. <laughs> Robbie? Robbie? You left me again? Robbie! <laughs>